Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learn From Ideas. First of all, I would like to welcome to all of you to join this technical session. Our today's topic is Windows Server 2019 Administration. In this course, we will learn about Windows Server 2019 Administration. So I will request you to watch the video till end. And hit the subscribe button and bell icon if it's still not so that you will get the notification of new videos so let's get started first we will have to install the ISO file of the operating system from Microsoft official website yes I recommend you to download the file from the Microsoft only so you will get the full features ISO and virus free ISO although it will be the trial version for 180 days only but no problem it's enough for the learning and the practice i mean the 180 days are enough for the learning and practice before proceeding further i would request you to understand about the operating system microsoft has launched two kinds of the operating system one is network operating system and another client operating system these two operating systems provide the services and access the services yes network operating systems are especially designed to provide the services and client operating systems especially designed to access the services from the network operating system for example windows 2000 server is the network operating system that provide the services and for the administration and Windows 2000 Professional is the client operating system that installed at the end user and access the services from the 2000 server. It's like this, the teacher that teaches to the students that is the network operating system and server and his students are the client operating system. Those are accessing the services from the teacher. I think it's clear. Before proceeding further, I would like to share one more thing that's most important. It's the hardware requirement to install the operating system that we have to fulfill. The three things you need, <coughs> one is CPU, RAM and free space. Yes, the minimum requirement of the CPU is 1.4 gigahertz 64 bit and 2 GB ram and 32 gb space this is the minimum requirement the recommendation is always more than the minimum yes above of the 1.4 gigahertz 64 bit processor 4 gb is recommended and 32 gb is minimum but 60 gb required as a recommendation so now we are going to download the ISO so click on the Google and write it down here download Windows Server 2019 no worry about this download link I will give the link in the description so you can easily download okay so here is the option windows server 2019 180 days click on the iso and hit continue fill this page the basic things is required mm, okay system administration architecture and the location i am in india so i will select india here and then click continue select the language option English and then download so it will start the download you can see the download has started and it will take some time like 11 and 12 minutes actually it depends on your internet connection speed and the file size is 4.9 GB I have already downloaded this ISO I don't want to waste the time so I'm cancelling this installation uh, this download as of now okay so now <coughs> double click on the VMware we will install this in the VMware 
click on the create a new virtual machine yes you can see two options typical that is recommended and custom for the advanced users so if you want to understand the my uh, vmware workstation and its options so please leave your comments in the comment section so i will make a separate video on this so as of now i will go with the custom next next i will install the operating system later next microsoft windows and windows server 2019 in the drop down list please select then click next to continue yes the most important thing is the location the default location will be the c but i recommend you not to choose the root partition that that is c so always select the another location so i have the d drive here is the folder that i have created vmware machines base machines and i will create a new folder here windows server 2019 okay next next again next yes you can see the minimum requirement of the ram 2 gb if you have the enough ram then you can increase the size of ram recommendation 4 gb but not to less than 2 gb click next to continue i will use the bridge networking so it will be connect my the physical network next 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 create a new virtual machine new virtual disk for this next and store virtual disk as a single i don't want to split the multiple files it will keep the all the stuff and data in a single file so i can use this as a clone as well next select the location again for the virtual machine okay this one open save and then next don't finish here as of now we'll have to select the iso as well so click here use iso image file browse that iso that you have downloaded so i have downloaded in my software folder iso and this one is the 2019 open close and now finish it will create the virtual machine then we just have to power it up okay it's started now and press any key to start the setup so now it will take some time guys to install so sit back and relax and watch the steps okay guys you have to select the options so please uh, leave these defaults click next to continue and hit the install now okay now you can see the four options here standard evaluation and desktop experience data center evaluation and data center evaluation desktop experience so i will go with the desktop experience so it will it is the graphical operating system and one more thing you can notice here you know guys it's only the 64 bit edition here there is no 32 bit because of microsoft has not launched 32 bit edition with the 2019 guys right so i will go with the desktop experience 64 bit and just click next to continue we have to accept the license agreement of the microsoft next the first option is the install windows and key file settings it, it, this is actually for the upgrade installation if you are upgrading the operating system uh, into the 2019 so i will i'm not upgrading it's the fresh installation so just click on the custom install windows only yes so this is the space that we have created and virtual disk just click next to continue guys okay so the setup has started and it will now it will take some time to install the operating system so sit back and relax and watch the all steps Forty-two percent are complete. Forty-three percent, forty-four. So 
guys it's installing keep patience so 95 percent done it's almost done so 97 okay 100 percent done now installing features so guys don't skip the video i have already cut the unnecessary part of the video now couple of minutes are remain only okay guys it's done and restarting the pc automatically in few seconds okay guys so now it's asking for the new password for the administrator account so i recommend you to choose the complex password okay guys so you can see it's almost done you have to press ctrl alt and delete to unlock the machine give the password and log in it will take some time to prepare your desktop because of its first time so it's preparing your desktop and taskbar start menu and icon and all okay it's done guys you can see the desktop windows server 2019 standard evolution 180 days okay it's asking for the network click yes it will uh, you know open the server manager wizard see automatically so thanks guys for watching see you in the next session uh, in which we will learn the basic configuration of the operating system and uh, the server configuration how to create the domain controller what is the domain controller what is global catalog what is dns and dsap so we will learn about uh, these things in the next session thank you very much guys